Yo my dudes, what's going on? David here and welcome to another reaction. This episode we are diving into The Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 2, called Sick. Hopefully you've been enjoying the series, hopefully you are having a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, head on over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reactions over there, episodes extra early over there as well. With that being said, craziness happened in this first season opener uh, of Season 3. Ended on a crazy note where they obviously, you know, get to a point in the jail where Herschel got bit, they cut his leg off, and then they ran to a group of guys, group of prisoners that were in the prison already. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I like the idea of adding more characters to the show. I'm totally for it. Uh, I like personalities, and so obviously adding more cast members, you're going to add more personalities. So with that being said, buckle your seatbelts. Let's ride. Around here. We press you on the knee. Hard, hard. Push, push. They don't pose a threat right now, Daryl. Slow and steady. What happened to him? He got bit. Bit. No, 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 no. No, no. Okay. Come on. Let's go. This isn't good. We're just gonna leave this group here. No, 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 no. What are we doing right now? Beth, can somebody have Beth chill? Cause she's the one that we can't have seeing this right now. I usually trust Daryl. If Daryl's got a weird vibe with something, there's probably a reason for it. I need to be there for that? I got it. I can bring tea in here. I got it. Good. Carl, take your ass back with your mother. I was about to say, take your ass back. I've been thinking that the Army or the National Guard should be showing up any day now. There Not gonna no happen. Army. What do you mean? There's no government. No There's nothing, dude. No police. It's all gone. For real? For real. Where's Willow's away? Waiting for you to say. So is this like a disease? Yeah. And we're all infected. Give what or do take. You mean infected? Like AIDS or something? If I was to kill you, shoot an arrow in your chest, come back. You'll come back. These things. You'll come back as one. It's gonna happen to all of us. It's ours. We spilled blood. We're moving back into our cell block. You'll have to get your own. It is mine. I took out personal artifacts in there. That's about as mine as it gets. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe let's try to... Yo, this is I not going to work, man. Everybody wins. I don't see that happening. Neither do I. You pay, we'll play. I like that. I'll clear out a block for you. I like that. Do it. You pay, we play. Right. But let's be clear. If we see you out here, Anywhere near our people. If I so much as even catch a whiff of your scent, I will kill you. That's not going to work, Rick. Yeah, I don't like the vibe I'm getting from this leader guy. Breadcrumbs? Oh, I see oats up there. Green beans. Tomatoes. This is the person you have to worry about. She do? does not handle yeah, things well. I'm walking around with one side of his pants dragging on the ground. You know, you could trip or something. And we'll be here. Living beside each other. I'm not giving up this prison. Do they have guns? I only saw one. Yeah. It's dangerous, man. I don't, I don't like this situation. Well, what are your options? Kill him. If that's what you think is best. Damn it, Lori. If they met Just... me, I could have a minute alone here. 
So just in case. Can't you help me there? Nope. Just map us out. Of course. Oh, I'm so mad at Herschel for letting his guard down. That was so right. not cool, man. All right, people, it's about to go down. Man, it's too damn dark in here. Man, hold up high. I'm in front of you. I'm gonna hear him before you see him. Somebody's dying here. There's too many characters. Come. I set the head, man. Guns and meds? Meds! Where did you get this? Found the infirmary. Wasn't much left, but I cleared it out. You went by yourself? Yeah. Are you crazy? No Lori? <laughs> I'm not even gonna go down this with you, Lori. See? One hit. There you go. One hit. No more prison riot crap. <laughs> no more prison riot crap. You guys gave my guy a bat though. What is he gonna do with that bat? We weren't backed against the wall, and now he's scratched. So he's it's, it's over for you, bud. Sorry, little tiny. Whatever the hell your name, Big Tiny, is. <laughs> okay, what's going on? I don't like this guy's intentions, though. He's too reckless. We just got rid of a Shane. I need her alive. Oh, I was about to say, what the hell you mean? Girl? I'm shocked they go as far as showing it so close. They must be really impressed with the way it looks. We need to control this. You can tell he doesn't like being told to do something. Man, hell no, bro. They gave him a bat, bro. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. You doing it on purpose. Oh! No, don't kill him. Don't kill him. No, don't let him run off. You're being real reckless right now, though, Rick. Shit, I had hope for him. Do something! Beth. Beth is the worst person to have in the room like this. Okay, those eyes look pure though. Those eyes look good. He was just going into a deep sleep. Whoa, Carl. Let's lower the gun, buddy. Let's lower the gun. <laughs> I guarantee you they keep them as prisoners. Oh, man. oh, this is the other cell block? I knew this wow, guy. it was like execution style. They were good men. That was a little premature on the un uncuffing him, man. Gave you the clear eyes and then he blinked again. He they weren't clear eyes. That would have sucked. Okay, usually when they show a camera like this. That's not showing a walker's view of something. Maybe 
were coming out here to talk about us. Now, would that be the Rick thing to do? Maybe there's nothing to talk about anymore. Well, thank you, Rick. That was, uh, something else. All right, season three, episode two of The Walking Dead. I'm going to give it another nine. I gave the first episode a nine. I'm going to give this one a nine as well. I thought it was equally as good as the first one. Interesting story uh, with the prisoners. I didn't catch names, which was kind of crappy. I'm not even sure they mentioned names. I know Oscar is one of them, and that is literally the only name I caught. Uh... I guess first and foremost, the one thing that I have to realize, and obviously, I mean, I'm sure you guys had to realize as uh, watchers, viewers, when it first was, when you guys first watched it, this is the kind of world where making decisions are extremely hard. Decisions that need to be made are some of the worst decisions you could ever possibly think of. With that being said, I think they made the right choice with killing, uh, and I'm going to call him Zorro because, again, I didn't hear his name. Uh, the, the main guy, the main prison leader, whatever, whatever his name is, he was doing the most, like at all times. And he was making it like clear as hell that he was trying to get Rick. And not that I support killing humans, he had that one coming. He reminded me too much of Shane, too much of a loose cannon, too much of a, I'm not going to listen to whatever anyone else tells me to do. I'm going to do shit my way. And that just doesn't fly. Not with the group we have right now. It just doesn't fly. Somebody mentioned the Rick Tatorship. That's still the case, man. Rick's in charge. I'm not going to have somebody challenge me. This is how we're going about things. So I'm okay with them killing him off. I think it was a little fucked up. Uh, the, 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 the boy, he couldn't have been much older than 18 years old, who was just scared. It's not even that he was like trying to kill somebody when he swung his bat. He's just scared. Like that's the vibe I got. You just killed somebody that was essentially our leader. I'm scared. You're going to kill me too. So I'm going to run. So then he runs out into like the little courtyard area and then gets locked in. I don't know, man. Like that, that seems a little too much to me. I guess it had to be done. So be it. I think it could have been done a little bit differently. I would have hoped it would have been done a little bit differently. I would have just liked for them not to have that altercation, but you knew at some point it was going to happen. Did I expect it in this episode? No, I didn't. But it did. It happened. It's over with now. Uh, there were five of them. Two of them are like confirmed, confirmed dead. The third one ran off. And to me, I never like to rule those people dead. Because when you just hear them screaming in the background, it doesn't necessarily mean like they're dead. Uh, and so until I see a confirmation or if he just doesn't show up, then, then after a while, I'll be like, all right, yeah, he's dead. So two for certain are alive. Two for certain are dead. And then one is kind of on the fence I liked the Oscar guy didn't uh, plead for his life I don't think he did anything wrong I don't think the other guy did anything wrong I don't think the little boy did anything wrong uh, whatever tiny big tiny whatever the whatever they called him he broke the he broke the uh, I don't know the chain or whatever they had the little system they had going he broke it and went off on his own so you're asking to die it's a scary thing this is the first time they went up against it i understand but you asked you asked to die when you broke it and went on your own and then that and then zoro i'm gonna keep calling him zoro took it into his own hands and just started murdering him granted he was gonna turn I'll admit that he was going to turn, but that guy just flat out murdered him. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So, I mean, he had to be dealt with. He was dealt with. I'm cool with that. Uh, 
the Herschel thing was another big thing where obviously Herschel uh, got bit in the last episode. They cut his leg off. He was bleeding out quite a bit. Herschel let his guard down. I mentioned it last um, ep uh, last episode. I'm going to mention it again. He let his guard down. He made a mistake. I'm sure when he comes to from this, uh, you know, obviously weaker state he's in right now, he'll probably admit the same thing. Maybe in a conversation with him and Maggie, or I could see something like that happening or a conversation with him and, uh, I don't know, Beth or something. I can see that happening. Uh, I fucked up. I shouldn't have, uh, I shouldn't have done that. Or, you know, I let my guard down. They were panicking. They were running out of the situation. They were panicking. He didn't check where he was stepping or anything like that and got caught. It's unfortunate, but he's alive, which is good. No fever, which is better. Alive and kicking. Herschel's still around, so I'm cool with it. Uh, it's going to be extremely difficult for him to walk around unless they can find crutches. I'm sure they'll build something out of some sort of materials and get that going. So I'm not too worried about Herschel. I'm not too worried about the other two prisoners. I don't think that they would do anything stupid to the group themselves. Uh, what else? Carol. Carol's putting it into her own hands to try to become this like doctor. She's trying to become the person to rely on for health and stuff like that and obviously the Lori's gonna have the baby soon she's gonna need to be the one to cut and do the c-section so she's taking it into her own hands she's doing it a little recklessly but she's got to do it on something she needs to practice on something so I'm cool with her practicing on the obviously dead walker uh, I'm a little confused as to why she had to kill Oh, no, never mind. Not confused because obviously the only female in that prison would be outside of the fence and not in the fence because it seemed like a male, uh, male only prison. So that makes sense. I'm cool with that. The little camera scene where it showed somebody kind of peeking at what she was doing and then looking away and then peeking again, it makes me think that there's somebody out there, somebody's watching uh, because they usually don't show that camera angle like that for a walker. They usually show it because another human being's out there. Is it Michonne? No way. Because Michonne's with Andrea. And if Michonne uh, was to... Like, if Andrea was to notice it or something like that, could it have been Michonne by herself? And Andrea's just kind of camping back? That could be, the, that could be a thing. I don't know if that's the case, but it could be a thing. But anyways, I don't know who to rule it yet, but I thought it was really interesting that somebody was watching in on it. And then obviously I wanted to save this for last as far as what I want to talk about, and that's Carl. Uh, you know, uh, a bunch of you seem to either be on the same page as me. Not, not, not necessarily the same page as me or not. Some people tend to side with my opinion. Some people tend not to side with my opinion, and that's perfectly fine. I think that's what makes the world so great is that we could have our opinions on certain things and kind of give our reasonings for it and then uh you know at least i'm somebody that i could respect someone else's opinion hopefully you can respect my opinion i still just think and i'm glad that Lori brought it up to the uh to to my attention again as she was talking to rick she's not going to win any mother of the year awards and she knows that and i know uh i'm not sure if it's on patreon or if it's on youtube I know that uh, you guys don't necessarily think that she needs to pay attention to Carl 24-7 because Carl is an older uh, child. He's not like a child child. But to me, he's already done it one too many times. So the whole not having him, and it, it's not realistic, so I agree with you guys on that point. It's not realistic for her to watch his every move. That would never happen. But at the same time, it's almost one of those things where like, what's the point of getting mad at him anymore if every time he comes back or something, you yell at him, but for what? It's not proving anything. He goes out and does it anyways. He's trying to help the team. You're not paying attention enough to him to uh, <clears throat> really have a say in it. And he actually went out and yes, it was dangerous. Yes, it was reckless, but he brought back uh, you know, 
I don't know what they call it. I'm, I'll just call them bandages, but you know what I'm saying? He, he brought back things that were helpful. He found the infirmary. Awesome. Was it smart? Not necessarily. It was very reckless and dumb, but at least at the end of the day, he got it. He found it. He did what he had to do to grab it. I just, I get aggravated with Lori and, and I should get more aggravated with Rick as well because they're, they're the parents of Carl and it's not only on Lori, but pay attention to Carl, man. Because if Carl goes down, I don't want to hear, I don't want to see the tears. I don't want to see the, oh, no, nah, nah, save that. For me, you can save that because you, you're just not paying attention to him. You or Rick, no one, not even anyone in the group, no one's paying attention to Carl. Carl just does what Carl wants to do. Carl is, Carl's the youngest in the group. As much as I would hate to do it, and I know Carl wouldn't take it either, we gotta fucking assign him a babysitter or something. Somebody's gotta keep watch on the walkers, somebody's gotta keep watch on Carl. And that's extremely tedious, and I don't think anyone would agree to it. But it's got to be that way. Or you have to be okay with him doing the reckless shit he's doing. It's one or the other. You hire a babysitter. <laughs> you tell Beth, hey, keep an eye on Carl. Or you go the route of, you know what? Let him do what he's going to do to help the team. I'm not going to step on his toes anymore. That's the route I'm going with as far as the Carl situation goes. There's no other route to go. You either agree with what he's doing or you hire him a babysitter. Excuse me. But, I mean, that's the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you enjoyed the reaction. Again, I gave this episode a 9. I thought it was a really well uh, continuation from the previous episode. I think they've already, uh, with this season, first two episodes alone, have shown strides to not go the same route as uh, season two, as far as like hopefully we don't go into like that little funk like we did in season two. I don't think storyline wise it makes any sense to go to a funk because we're not searching for someone every single episode. I think the storylines in this one are a lot better. I'm cool with it. I'm enjoying it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head on over to Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reactions over there. Episodes extra early over there as well. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Bees, guys.